Raskin Mohan is known for writing many stories and many novels. But how many of you know that he actually writes a lot of non-fiction as well? Not many of you, right? Well, I did guess it. So in this video, I'm going to bring to you a book by Raskin Bond, which is his non-fiction at its best. I'm talking about Lando Days by none other than Raskin Bond. Now, in his own words, Raskin Bond is a compulsive digest, which means that he has meticulously over the years had had this habit of writing down his daily activities, if not every day, then every once in a while. And that has enabled him to preserve a lot of memories from his early childhood back when he was under 10 years old to his early youth, his teenage years and a lot many years. And that is exactly what you will find in this book, Lando Days. Now, Lando is a magical place. Like, I've been there and I loved every part of it. It's just so beautiful. There are verdant green mountains, rolling hills, lush green forests, whistling winds and flowing rivers and creeks and whatnot. It's just a beautiful place. And the flora and fauna is to die for. And it is this place that the author truly captures in this book. This book stands testimony to Ruskin Bond's love for the place that he has lived in for decades now. And it's just so captivating, so mesmerizing to read about it. The book was published almost 20 years ago in 2002 when the author was 20 years younger than what he is today. And it is divided into these four sections. Four sections which start from summer and then monsoon, then autumn, then winter. And each of these sections carry his diary writings and some of the old memories that he has preserved over the years. Now, Land of Days is not just about that. Yes, it's about his diary entries and also, yes, it's about the place Lando. But it's much more than that. Tarskin Bond captures, like truly captures, his daily life in a place like that. Whether it is his rendezvous with people known and not so known, famous and not so famous, whether it is his interactions with the locals there, whether it is the lovely long walks that he used to take back then, and whether it is his love for nature. All of it is beautifully captured. And that's not all, guys. You also see so much about his writing life, his journey as an author, the books that he has read, the writers that he has known in his life, and the writers that he has loved reading all these years. Again, apart from that, this book also has some very quaint subjects like there is a section which talks about typewriters and there is also a section that talks about handwritings. And wow, that is something, right? The book then also delves into the very critical world of book critics and critics in general and also about aspiring writers. Raskin Bond tells how so many of aspiring writers would come to the hills and they would start writing and they would actually dream about writing. But how many of those did really make it to the real world, did really make it as a writer? All that is captured very nicely and in a very, very practical and no-nonsense way. The writing in the book enjoys a languid pace which is kind of reflective about the pensive state that the author finds himself. So there is a statement either in the introduction or in the blurb of the book in which the author says, in the autumn of my life, I grow reflective. So it kind of uh, reflects his pensive mood, his pensive state and that languid pace can be seen in the book as well. So guys, all in all, like I told you, Landor days is so much more. It has so much to offer. It's not just about Landor. It's not just about Ruskin's memory. It's not just about journey as a person as a writer it's just so much more than that and uh, what a beautiful way this is Ruskin Bond's writing non-fiction writing at its candid best so go and do give it a read and let me know how did you find it if you want to check out my blog review of the same I will link it down below in the description box go and read it and I will see you with another video this is Sankalpita signing off from Book Geeks with a promise to be back very very soon until then bye